Hello, this gross picture shows a bisected lump that is from the soft tissue of the elbow and we have painted the external surface here. This is the cut surface we're looking at and we can see that there are some very well-defined chalky deposits which is consistent with the gross appearance of a gouty tophus. Let's take a look at the microscopy. Here we see the histologic section and we can see that there are some of these very amorphous pale pinkish deposits and they are surrounded by a cuff of cells. So the deposits are actually composed of urate crystals or uric acid crystals. Most of them are leached out during the processing stages of the specimen so it's quite difficult to actually look at them under polarized light microscopy in this processed histology section. However, if there are abundant crystals, these can still be stained using a specific uric acid stain. We do see the very characteristic histiocytic reaction that rims these areas of amorphous pink deposits. Let's take a closer look at the edges. And there are many histiocytes or macrophages, we can see them here, of varying shapes. Some of them are also multinucleated. So these are foreign body type multinucleated giant cells. So we have both mononucleated as well as multinucleated histiocytes rimming these pale pink deposits. And surrounding this, we have some fibrosis. So this is the classical microscopic appearance of a gouty tophus. Let's have a look at these uric acid crystals in a fresh specimen. This is taken from a needle aspirate from an effusion of the knee and examination under polarized light microscopy will actually show these birefringent needle-shaped uric acid crystals. If we have a color filter in the microscope, we can actually assess whether they are positively or negatively birefringent and in this instance, they are negatively birefringent. You can see that they are yellow in this direction and roughly at right angles to this, they are blue. So the combination of the shape, which is needle-shaped, and the negative birefringent is characteristic for uric acid crystals. And this is seen in the fresh specimen under polarized light microscopy. In summary, the histologic picture of a gouty tophus shows the presence of these pale pinkish amorphous deposits and they are surrounded by a rim of histiocytes which include mononucleated macrophages or histiocytes as well as multinucleated histiocytes. Thank you.